Uh, there's a lot of poop in there right now. There is. For Canadian scientists, this pungent sludge is liquid gold, a starting point for tracking the viruses behind COVID-19, monkeypox, even largely forgotten diseases like polio. We get a lot of different pathogens coming through. So we are Andrew Nimitz say. is a shift operator at this wastewater treatment plant. He says it wasn't until the pandemic that his team realized how useful that data could be. In hindsight, it was obvious, but this never occurred to us. At this site, roughly 20,000 cubic meters of wastewater flow through on a daily basis. Lucky for those watching at home, you can't smell it, but you can spot floating chunks of human waste, bits of cereal, even used masks. Anything that would get flushed down a toilet, really. We get a lot of t-shirts, clothing, wet wipes. Screens filter out that debris, then the sewage enters an automatic sampler. We've taken 200 milliliters every 15 minutes for the last 24 hours. Those samples are stored in a refrigerated five-gallon jug. Some stuff will settle out. A few times a week, Nimitz pours out portions to hand off to a research team from nearby Western University. Well, there's your sample. Ten kilometers away on Western's campus, Microbiologist Eric Arts puts on layers of PPE before entering a containment lab. Come on in. And it's simple that it just comes from something everybody does in uh, a general toilet over time. Here's a sample for you, Dylan. This is where his research team analyzes the samples. Team members split them up into 40 milliliter test tubes, which are then spun down in a centrifuge at a speed of up to 12,000 rotations per minute. That concentrates all of the solid waste, um, which also contains the virus. The solid material becomes a tiny pellet. It's suspended in a solution capable of breaking open the bacteria cells and viruses, spewing out their hidden genetic code. The virus genetic material that exists in the wastewater. And that viral RNA, we can pull out through what we call an extraction process. The team can analyze the genetic code to gauge the amount of virus in the wastewater. Arts wants to keep applying that work to other pathogens. So we can predict what might be coming through not only in Canada, but we need to reach out to other parts of the world and do this in a Thank coordinated you. fashion. Building a global network for sewage surveillance is no easy task, but it all starts with something simple, human waste. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, London, Ontario.